ready for a change? I am talking, talking, talking to you. Then get ready to explore the quantum possibilities. It's time to transform that outdated paradigm into something universal and new. Time to uncover the truth hidden beneath the veil of lies. A time to think outside the box as we link to a higher consciousness. Welcome to The Awakening. 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 And now the hosts of Broadcast Team Alpha. Broadcast Team Alpha. Nori Love and Augie Nost. Ooh, I love that. Welcome to The Awakening. How much more true can that be? Hi, everybody. It's Nori with Broadcast Team Alpha, and we're so excited to be here tonight. So happy that you're here with us, whether you're here live, I see you guys in the chat room, um, or whether you're listening on the archives. We are so grateful to be entangling it. How about that? Entangling with you, because really, we all are one, and we all have been one and we will all be one. So we are entangled and I love that. But in this crazy entanglement that we are all connected, there's a power that we have that we weren't told about it. And there's many reasons, right? We could have a whole show itself on why, but that doesn't matter. What really matters is that there is this power available to us and it's our mind power. And when we join in harmony with the energy of our mind power, we can do so much more than what we could do individually. I mean, have you ever just really, really, really wanted to change your reality regarding your health? Maybe it was your body, your mobility, your well-being, maybe your wealth, right? Maybe you want enough, or maybe you would like more than enough, or maybe you would like a lot, and or maybe it's human- humanitarian, right? It could be peace that we're looking for, right? Who does not want to heal the earth at this moment? And the children, right? Maybe it's personal, Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe you want to be in love. Maybe you want to fix that relationship, find the relationship, improve the relationship, or maybe it's a job, right? Maybe you're an entrepreneur and you're creating your own business, or you want to move up in your current job or create a new job or or like the job that you're in. Maybe it's creative, right? Maybe you want to create your reality in your creativity. So maybe it's your art. It's your voiceovers. It could be your book, your music, your service, your product, or maybe it's deeply personal, spiritual, right? Your connection with God, your connection with all that is. We can share in each other's mind power to achieve the things that we really, 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 really desire. And part of the way that we do that is law of attraction. And the mastermind that we're talking about in the simplest, most irreverent way I can explain it, it's like group law of attraction on steroids. So, (laughs) Augie, what do you think about that? (laughs) Well, God, I how can I follow that? I mean, you explained it all. This is what it's all about. This is what can happen, and this is all up to us if it is going to happen. Mm, it is. See, the mastermind reaches both into us and through our entanglement with everybody else, and from there goes into the universal mind and the combined knowledge and expertise and brilliance of everybody that has ever existed on earth and elsewhere Ooh. is available and is available to us to draw on for energy, knowledge, and spiritual capacity. Yeah. And the thing about the mastermind, I, I just love the word. I think everybody has heard the term, but we probably don't really, a lot of us know exactly what it is. But like you said, 
Law of Attraction on steroids. <laughs> right? Yeah. It is. It okay. is. Right? And here's the thing. Not just Law of Attraction on steroids, right? I don't know. When, when everybody thinks steroids, they might think of, you know, big muscle guys or something like that. But, of course, as a nurse, I think of steroids as something that decreases inflammation and makes health flourish, so, so either way you think about it, that's really what it is, right? We're increasing, we're increasing the power of law of attraction by using the agreed upon energy of other people. So I was just listening to something today, right? Way back in the day, Dale, uh, Dale, no, Napoleon Hill, Napoleon Hill said that the people that signed the Declaration of Independence signed it as a mastermind, signed it as something that they really wanted to happen. And here was the risk for them. If they really didn't believe in what they were signing, what they were creating, they were risking their death. So I love, I, I never even thought of that before. Have, have you heard that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. They uh, they were one mind when those signatures went on that <laughs> yellow paper, mm -hmm. and I tell you there were tremendous risks. They went out on a limb because they knew if they failed, they will all be executed by the Brits. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So let's just I don't know. Let's just like freeform talk about what it is right so yeah it's, it's I, synergy I, of mind right it's it's when when you're in a mastermind group it's supporting each other it's synergy of mind it's um holding each other accountable for what we all want to create yeah and um i, I want to dwell just a little more on what it is and how we attach to this mastermind. Because we look around us and we just look like one person. But quantum mechanics has proven to us that we are only quantum particles that is acting as a wave and we are interacting and connecting to everything and everybody around us and that universal mind, that intelligent universe. And for the people that start tapping into this brilliance and knowledge and cap spiritual capacity and power of the universal mind, that's where lives change. And that's what Nori and I are going to do. We are going to Put this mastermind group together so people can join in and we are going to see lives changing. I would love to take somebody on about a 45 to a minute journey of the lives of somebody that has been able to tap into the mastermind and receive the knowledge, the brilliance and the power to do what they want and be able to have what they need and want, and to be able to associate with the kind of people they want to associate with. And uh, I, um, this, let me take one minute and run through this, because I, I lived that life, so I know that I'm taking talking from the top of my head here. Let's say okay. that you... Okay, excuse me for a minute. Can I just give a definition before we get started? Because we're throwing out things like, you know, the universal mind and things like that. So can I just give like a cursory definition for yeah. people who are brand new? So the mastermind is a process of using synchronized energy that's in harmony and in agreement for an intended purpose. So just loosely, you know, I mean, if you're in a church group and you're all praying about one particular thing, and if you're truly in harmony with it, that's, that's a mastermind. If you're in, um, 
a work group, right? And you're working on a project and you're really in agreement and harmonious over the outcome. That could be a mastermind. If you want to create something in your family, that could be a mastermind group. So the mastermind group is people coming together to use the power of their mind through thought, through imagery, through emotion and desire to create new things. Okay. Thank you for letting me say that. Thank yeah, you. absolutely. And uh, that is uh, probably uh, possibly a better definition than the one I was going to make because oh. that's exactly what it is. You are leaning on each other for one purpose. And the thing about it is that when you are leaning on each other like that, you are joining minds, you get exponentially powerful in what you create. So let's say that a thousand people get together and think of one thing and directing intention in one direction with love and emotion, all the the concepts within the spiritual language. Now you got a thousand people times a thousand. Now you get the mind power of a million minds. And this is not just a thought anymore now. Now it is an energy. So that is powerful. And this is what we can be able to do. And individually, we think of different things within the same concept. Let's say that we talk about uh, health. Yeah, we got any kind of ailment you can possibly think of. When we visualize and intend for perfect health or improved health, whichever one we would choose, then each one of us has different needs, but the universe, the self-aware conscious universe knows what the ailment is for each one of us and goes to work on it to try to correct it. So we don't have to know all the problems or the people out there. We just uh, refine the concept of good health and that is individually Prepare, uh, put out there for the uh, for the people. So, um, um, I lost the concept here, Nori. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. So, just I'm I'm gonna try and um, do like Mastermind 101 for the people who are new to this. So, imagine, imagine that you could pick all of the people that are experts, I mean experts, in the thing that you want to accomplish. Maybe it is your health, right? Maybe it's uh, a project you're working on. Maybe it's um, something in your job that you're working on. Imagine picking all of the people who are experts in that field, living or dead, and having a meeting with them every week and brainstorming with them, right? Talking about how you think that it, how it will turn out, talking about how it will turn out and seeing the process of how it did turn out, what happened in order to make it turn out, having that meeting every week. That's kind of what we're talking about. And I'm trying to make it fun because sometimes when it's fun, it's easier to, you know, it's more bite-sized and easier to swallow. But what we're talking about is a super empowering meeting of the minds where you get to create the thing that's most important to you. Mm Most important. So Augie was saying health, and you might think, well, if I'm in a room of 100 people and we're all thinking about health, right, and my issue is here and their issue is there, how are we going to do it? There is a way to do it, and we do it during a visualization, right? Kind of a meditation, but Mm -hmm. easier, easier. So it's through a guided visualization where we where we talk about health, where we conceptualize health with pictures and with symbols and with things that will increase the well-being in whatever body part that you need, but not necessarily talk about your kidney. Does that make sense? Absolutely, to me. Yeah, I hope it makes sense to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, the thing is when lives start changing, it isn't only in one area. 
it start changing across the board. You may be thinking of good health, but you also visualize the periphery of it to be different and improved or better or what you need and so on. So it all comes across the board for, let's say, a family that want different things. They start <coughs> improving in many areas, not just in health, there could be uh, the economics of it, they could end up with a new home. And uh, that's where, like you were talking about, the experts in the different fields. We will have those experts. They will be joining the mind. And their knowledge will affect your knowledge so you can get ideas from that and you implement that in your life. And some of this stuff is really automatic. What do you mean automatic? There is, when you tap into the universal mind, the universal mind create your existence through oh. your eyes anyway. So it start imposing, if you let the universal mind know what you want, it will start working on implementing it for you as long as you also help do whatever you can to help out also. Sometimes that is not even necessary. The universal mind implements it even without your hard work on it. It can just show up on your doorstep. And that to a certain degree is depending on your conviction of it being real and happening. Because what is in your mind is what you're going to have in your life. Somebody that is thinking like, gosh, it would be nice, but I don't really think that that could happen. Well, then it's going to take a little longer. If somebody is totally convinced that, yes, this mastermind works for me, this is what will happen. And they go and do their, their thing every day. You'd be amazed how things happen quickly. And I think this is one of the things that once you get into the habit of doing the mastermind, and uh, we're going to start doing this once a week, and uh, every day go listen to the recording and participate in it. And then you are going to start seeing some changes in your mind, your attitude towards things. And that will give you that conviction of it being real and working for you, which will accelerate it as soon as you start seeing or feeling some of these attitude changes and maybe seeing some changes in your life. That increases the conviction of it and you're going to see an accelerated a very much accelerated result coming into place. And the truth be told, uh, conviction-wise, when if you join one of our sessions, just being in the kind of energy that we work with, just being in the brain waves, like we we through the guided imagery, we take your brain waves by talking to you. All, all I would be doing is talking to you and talking about certain pictures that evokes feelings in your body so that you would come down out of stressed, right? Out of overwhelmed, out of, you know, overanalyzing, out of judgment, down into the place, you know, when you're driving and, you suddenly forget that you're driving and the next thing you know, you're where you needed to be. You, you arrived at your end point and you're like, oh my God, I have no idea how I got there. So it's that kind of comfortable brain with. So even if you don't believe in everything that we're talking about, um, just experiencing that is, is just an inspiration to come back for the next session. But most importantly, another definition for the mastermind is when two or more minds are united in harmony, they create a third mind. And this third mind has the potential mind power of two or more multiplied by each other. So what was uh, what Augie was saying before is if we have a thousand people to get together in harmony to intend for a specific purpose, we would have 
a thousand times a thousand, right, multiplied by each other, we would have the mind power of a million minds. And I can give you an example of one thing that we did, and it wasn't just us, you know, people around the world were doing it. And it was the storm that was headed up from the Caribbean. Uh, it was going to hit Florida and the coast as a category four hurricane. And we asked people, you know, in our community and on social media to mastermind the storm becoming a non-event, right? Not, you know, not anything specific, just a non-event. And then let your mind decide what that really, really looks like. So it was headed up the coast straight for Florida, up the coast with you know, catastrophic potential. The weather forecasters said it was going to hit as a four or five, but everybody, not just us, people around the world were, you know, small groups, big groups, prayer, visualization, talking about it, envisioning it. Within 90 miles, right, from Cuba to Florida, it fizzled out and ended up becoming a tropical storm. And this is a great example of like some of the things that we can do with a mastermind group. Oh, that is such a phenomenal example because you were right in the middle of that and you were kind of living it up there on the coast, on the East Coast. So uh, I was. Wow. I was right in the I was right in the target zone. <laughs> I yeah. was, but you knew, you know what? I knew. I mean, I lived in Virginia Beach long enough, you know, down by the Edgar Casey Museum, the Association for Research and Enlightenment, where they masterminded hurricanes, you know, fizzling out all the time. And I knew in my heart of hearts, I just knew it. I saw it. I felt it that this time also it was going to be a non event. And, you know, so I didn't prepare for anything because I really, really, you know, you might think, well, that's a little bit foolish and I don't recommend that, you know, if you're not fully invested in, in the belief of a mastermind, but, mm -hmm. but I really, really knew it in my heart of hearts and I've been doing this a long time. So I trusted it. Um, would I be the yeah. first person in the car with my two dogs, you know, if it got bad? Absolutely. But I knew it wasn't going to get bad. And I mean, Art Bell did a mastermind. Do you want to talk about that? Oh, yes. Uh, that's a little bit lengthy. We only got a minute left of the show here. So let's do that after we get you mean back. before the break. Yeah, before the break, yeah. And uh, I tell you, though, you know, what we're talking about here, um, this is to all the listeners out there, this is not just us. This is not theory. There is science behind it. And these... These examples have been proven over and over again, and thought leaders like Bruce Lipton and James Gates and many of the top minds in the world, they are showing us the science behind it, and they talk about it. So this is real. And it is real. Yeah, we are going to create a mastermind here that you can all participate in. And I see now that we are so, getting... Yeah, we're almost there for a break. So, so... Just think about, right, during the break, just imagine, what do you want? Like, is it a date with Brad Pitt or a date with Jason Momoa? Or <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who all the hot chicks are, but, you know, are, mm -hmm. do you have a crush on some newscaster or, you know, some <laughs> some uh, musical person or some model? So, I mean, <laughs> you, you could mastermind that if you'd really, really like to. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. After the break. This is the broadcast team Alpha Show, hosted by Nori Love and Augie Nost. The one show that takes your doubts of the unknown and spins them into reality. Share your thoughts by calling our hotline number at 702-425-9230. That's 702-425-9230. Call now. Worldwide callers use Skype name KCOR Radio. More cutting-edge conversation and exploration of the quantum universe after this. Toxins are everywhere, from the air we breathe to the food we eat and the water we drink. In a world where 80,000 known toxins and heavy metals threaten our very existence, how are you going to protect yourself and your loved ones? 
Introducing Pure Body Extra Strength, the world's first collodial zeolite that helps trap and remove toxins as well as heavy metals from your body that are messing with your memory, clarity, sleep, and focus. Don't just take our word for it or the testimonials from our thousands of happy customers. Check out the hundreds of articles and case studies on the National Institute of Health website proving zeolite's powerful ability to remove toxins. For a limited time, listeners to KCOR will receive 10% off their first order. To get started, go to trypurebody.com and enter promo code radio 10 again that's trypurebody.com toxic junk is all around us but now you can take back control of your health and protect yourself by detoxing with pure body extra strength you'll be on your way to sleeping better thinking more clearly and feeling more energetic go to trypurebody.com right now and get started today immerse yourself in an epic journey through time where ancient mysteries unfold within a story of love and betrayal, as well as a battle of good versus evil in the Emissary Book One. The reader's favorite gold medal award winner for Visionary Fiction 2019, The Action and Adventure of the Emissary, continues in the Emerald Tablet Book Two. The 2019's Bronze Medal Award winner, The Emissary and the Emerald Tablet, by Tamara Veach and Rennie DeFazio are both available now on Amazon.com. Let your reading adventure begin. It's great. I think it's great. It's great. The all-new KCOR Digital Radio Network. Great. Make a note of it. Looking for a radio show like no other? We need something uh, brand new. Then tune into the KCOR Digital Radio Network, Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, and get ready for The Quantum Shift. A great shift of consciousness is sweeping across the Earth. Are you ready for the dimensional shift? It is amazing, is it not? The Quantum Shift. Quantum Shift. Quantum Shift. Hosted by Dr. Sam Muggsy and Kent Dunn. Be part of the fifth dimensional reality where consciousness prevails and the universal law of one is the only true reality. The Quantum Shift. Quantum Shift. Quantum Shift. Live Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Exclusively on the KCOR Digital Radio Network. Come explore the quantum possibilities. This is Broadcast Team Alpha. Broadcast Team Alpha. To be on the show live, call 702-425-9230. That's 702-425-9230. Worldwide callers use Skype name KCOR Radio. Share your thoughts of the show on Twitter at KCOR Radio, hashtag KCOR. Or join the Cutting Edge Conversation live in our chat room at www.kcorradio.com. Now, back to Broadcast Team Alpha with your free-thinking hosts, Nori Love and Aginas. I just love that announcer. <laughs> yeah. I love that voiceover artist. So um, I asked the chat room who they might or what they might want to mastermind, but um, uh, you know, I was joking about Brad Pitt and Jason Momoa. But you know, I mean, if you really wanted to master, okay, I'll give you, I'll give you a great example, and this is such a true story. Um, I was adopted, and mm. I searched and searched a lot when I was younger. Hi, Yappy. I see you in the chat room. Um, and, and I searched for such a long time that I finally gave up, you know, and I was like, this is my life. I'm really good with it. You know, I'll have to make enough money to put myself in a nice nursing home because I didn't really have any family to speak of. And, and I was really cool with my life. And then my best friend sends me an ancestry DNA kit and the kit sat right? I mean, sat on my table for a long time. And she called me up, she's spitting the tube. I'm like, I'm not spitting in the tube. <laughs> she's like, spitting out the darn tube. No, no, not spitting in it. So I was actually in, um, 
the Academy for Life Coaching, and we were doing a process um, that's kind of like meditation, but it's more active. It's where you, where it's like it's like a mastermind of one. It's mastermind really of of two. It's you and the universe, or your higher self, or God, or all that is. And I decided that I was going to mastermind calling my family in. And that was a huge, that was a sea change for me, you know, because I was really comfortable with my life. And I did it and I called my family in, you know, during the process, I masterminded it. And then I let it go. I just put it down. And then, I don't know, months later, you know, I decided to spit in the tube and I did. In the next th- six weeks later, my best friend's blowing up my phone because she handled the whole thing. And she's like, okay, here's, here's a picture of your mother. She's not living. Here's your father. He's not living. Here's your aunt. Here's your uncle. Here's your sister and your sister and your sister and your sister and your brother and your sister. I was like, whoa, did I really mastermind this? <laughs> and mm-hmm. It's been three years and I'm actually still just equalizing, you know, from that kind of change in my life. But I, that really is an example of how you can use the mastermind principle for people. You know, you can't create in other people's lives. You know, you can't go, you know, oh, I want to date that guy and only that guy and make it happen. But you can mastermind the feeling of the relationship that you want and that relationship will come to you. It might not be packaged in that guy or that girl, but but the exact feeling that you really, really want in it, it will come to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it will come. And um <clears throat> Yeah, that one was pretty close to the close to home for you. That that pretty example there, and um, I, I there is another example that I want to mention that was really hard, and that's close to me because um, uh, we got time for that example, and that is oh. Teresa. Oh, <laughs> because three months ago, a friend of mine in the Midwest he called me. Uh, <clears throat> Don called me and said, "I got bad news." He says my daughter has been just diagnosed with uh, stage four pancreatic cancer and spread out through her body. Yeah. And I said to myself, "Self, oh boy, oh boy, what what are we gonna do? I gotta get Nori involved." So I called you, Nori, and we talked about it. And uh, you decided. Have, let me let me just interrupt you for a minute. Yeah. First, I have to say, out of all of the time that I've known you, I have never heard you so mm, impacted. You know, I have never heard you so almost scared. You know, never, ever, ever. I never heard yeah. you uh, um, frazzled like that because it was so so important to you. So, th- I'm sorry. So go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, it was because, uh, I mean, I've known Don for 35 years and there were about that. And uh, this is his daughter, you know, so I wanted you involved because you are a Reiki master. And uh, then not just that, but we also created a mastermind around this girl. And uh, there was you and me, and on social media, we invited some people, and she had a church group that got involved praying for her. And she got on some good nutrition, too, and, you know, that was part of the package that, uh, and, uh, you know, different things that she was taking. And the doctor, of course, you know, that she was going to see, he basically told her to uh, (laughs) go home and pack your bags, you're out of here. And... uh, now, was it a week ago, Nori, that she called you and said, said no. what? Uh, Tell us. Okay. Well, for, first, I, I just want to back up a little bit. So this was an interesting situation because although Augie and I did do our own, like air quotes, formal mastermind, right? The the rest of the people formed a mastermind around her. This The mastermind happened around her because of her desire, right? Her desire to get well, her desire to live. She called that mastermind into her. So it was Augie and myself and the people that we were masterminding with. It was her parents, her friends, her children. It was people at church and then people in a social organization that she belongs to. And we all had 
had the same intention for her to get well. And when all of that energy began kicking in, it wasn't like, boom, you know, magic, she was well, things happened, you know, it wasn't always easy. To also, you know, it required firing a doctor, finding a new doctor, a better doctor who was in more alignment with the, the intention that we had for her. And then she was willing to do the work. She was willing to change some of the aspects mm. of her old thinking and her old habits that were was not in alignment with the new health. And then a, she had called me and said, I'm going to have a PET scan. And a PET scan is positive electron tomography where, you know, anything that looks like cancer in the body lights up like a Christmas tree light. And she was, you know, please, you know, you know, be with me, pray with me. And I did all of that. And I just, I just knew it was going to be okay. And she called me a couple of days later, ecstatic, off the charts, over the moon, ecstatic. They could not find one trace of cancer in her body. And it had manifested, you know, like in, in certain areas in her body where you could see it you know, cause it was, it was melanoma. It was, it, that had gone into areas. So she had the physical manifestation of it and it was completely gone and she is completely healed. And I'm just, I mean, I am so humbled and blown away by this example, but yeah, yeah just, but beautiful. Just think about that. Pancreatic cancer is the worst kind you can probably get. And yeah. hardly anybody recovers from that. It's and fast and lethal, yeah. Yeah, there's mostly uh, people, uh, doctors tell you, well, pancreatic cancer is the worst you can get. There's no cure. So they, they try all kinds of things, but 99% of the time it fails. Mm -hmm. But she had in three months or about that, it's crazy. from pancreatic cancer to nothing. I know, I know. Off the charts. I mean, you know, even as a nurse, you know, I've seen miracles, but I, you know, I, I sensed that all of the, the cooperative components were in place for her, you know, to have a healing. Um, but it doesn't stop me from being so awed and humbled by it. Yeah. Just oh. amazing. And that goes back to the, the mastermind, yes, but she is the one that drew the mastermind to her. And you're exactly right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. she she actually helped create that mastermind. We were just the instrument of implementing it. Definitely, definitely, yeah. and we joined with her in agreement. You know, and it's not it's not that we're just doing a bunch of woo woo. I mean, I am a Trinitarian, and you know, I prayed with her many, many days. Um, I used my law of attraction life coaching with her. And of course, you know, I, I did what I do as a healer. Um, but I take no credit for it. I mean, the credit goes to, you know, to God, to all that is, whatever, whatever word you use to call God, and yeah. to Teresa, you know, really. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And this is what we will help to implement through the mastermind. And that is just the health part of it. Now, there are things in economics, there are things in other areas of people's lives that can be improved or created totally new that will be equal to what we just talked about. Right. And economics is a big one. You know, people, a lot of people, um, even people who have a lot of money actually want more wealth, want more abundance. And maybe, maybe abundance for you is not necessarily money. Maybe it's wealth and that means something different, but there's a lot of people who, who desire that. And yeah, yeah. Think of this. Think of this also, though, because people with wealth, they are the dreamers, billionaires. They are the dreamers. They are the humanitarians. They give away more money than most people, most millionaires make in a year. Every year, they are. They donate to good causes. They do good things. And uh, that's why uh, billionaires think different. People with means, they think different. People that, the doers and the producers out there, they think different than the ones that is not. 
And that's what creates those results. So coming into the mastermind, you will join with the higher thinking minds out there and we will help you create those things in your life that will sometimes motivate people to do things and think different. Right. And I just want to clarify because of the way that I heard you unpack that. We're not using another person's mind power Right, we're not going in there and grabbing, you know, some no. some electrons and neurons and dendrites. We're not doing that. What we're doing is accessing the universal consciousness, that place, you know, up in up. Right, we always use up that place in the universe where ask and it is given. Right, where that really, really happens. So we're not, you know, like tapping into somebody's mind or you know, stealing energy. We're not doing any of that. We're tapping into the creative realms, right, through the power of our mind to make great things happen. And like Augie was saying, you know, the billionaires, not all billionaires are, you know, as benevolent as Augie paints them, but many are. So he's talking about what good people they are. And some of the things that happen when you join a mastermind group is that all areas of your life get get all areas get better because yeah. the in the mastermind we're aligned. In the mastermind, we're applying our faith. In the mastermind, we're practicing going the extra mile, right? And we're practicing some of the old, right, Napoleon Hill um, principles that really, really help us, like exercising, having a pleasing personality. That's part of the mastermind. That's mm -hmm. part of what helps you connect to the higher energies that bring you the desires of your heart. Uh, you work on personal initiative. You, you learn how to harness and hone your positive mental attitude. You have more enthusiasm, right? And as a result of what we're practicing, you have better self self-discipline. You have better thinking, right? Your thinking becomes more clear and your attention gets better and your teamwork gets better because we're, we, we're meeting weekly for, you know, for a teamwork session to achieve our combined and our individual goals. And the beautiful thing is that when we don't necessarily hit the mark, we don't feel defeated because there's safety in numbers and we're there to support each other. Yeah. And we learn how to create a greater vision for ourselves in our life, which in turn creates better health. And we learn how to use our time and, um, and how to budget money, right? If we're working on economy, when we start visualizing the economy that we want, we develop new habits. So overall, our life is increased just by virtue of, of a fun weekly meeting. And it's fun. It's fun. We visualize all kinds of really great things. Absolutely. We're going to make it fun. We are, and the people will be able to participate. So uh, it's we're going to be hearing from them. They're going to be hearing a lot from us. And on top of that, we are um, also going to be teaching some things for people that has been thinking about it possibly for years, wondering, yeah, I should probably start meditating. That sounds like a good thing to do. We're going to do classes on that. We're going to teach you how to meditate. There are many different types of it, and uh, we'll show you the, some of the different ones so you can pick one that really works for you, where you can relax your mind, get rid of the stress, get your brainwave pattern down into the bottom of the alpha range or below, and then you will reach into that universal mind, that uh, Kashic record super creation or whatever people would call it and you can attach to good things that you want in life and you start pulling that back into the physical and that is how creation and uh, law of attraction work it comes from the mind because everything around you is mind you live in a mind created universe and that is not just your mind it's the universal mind projecting itself through your mind and around you so that whatever you see around you looks real and solid. And uh, according to quantum mechanics, uh, Bruce Lipton and many others, there really is nothing out there. 
It is just all happening in your mind, but it is made solid by your perceptions. Right, right. Boy, and, that one is a hard to wrap around. Well, it is, and I just want to. I just want to give like a, a, a basic example of the way that it works. So in the mastermind, you know, our wishes, our wants, our intention, our desire for the things that we want to happen, when we visualize them and intend them, we, we're talking about, right, the universal mind. We're talking about, the, I hate to use the word the matrix because it conjures up the movie. It's really a different, um, con- it's a different definition than that matrix. But, but they're talking about the part of the universe where we, where everything happens, where everything past, present, and future exists. Like Abraham Hicks calls it the vortex. So by virtue of our intention, we launch it out of the physical, right, because we're going with our mind power, and into the quantum realm, into the quantum realm where there is no space or time. And we launch our intention, which is also our desire, out there, and it comes back like a boomerang into our physical, and it carries with it that thing right? The change that we wanted, that we asked for, it, it carries with it into the physical. And that's how manifestation happens. When we launch outside of the physical with our vivid, colorful images, with a feeling of emotion and gratitude, with love and intention, it goes into the quantum where time doesn't exist. There's only the now. And it reaches, if you will, into that soup of creation that's the fertile ground of manifestation and brings back into the physical now that thing that we, the end result. Does that make, was that simple? (laughs) Was it simple or complicated? I'm trying. (laughs) Well, actually it is pretty simple. Well, it is simple for us because we've, you know, studied it. I want it to be, I want people who don't really know it yet to really really know it you know because i want them to have the amazing things that they desire in their life the health the body the well-being the you know the job what whatever that thing is that you really 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 want you know i i want you to have the tools to make that happen Mm -hmm. i tell you Nora, there is a uh, question in the chat room by uh, get lucid with lana Ah. And um, hi, Nori and Agi. I'm curious, will this mastermind group work by us doing tasks together actively, or is it more of just mindset meditation based? And then uh, I love that question. I love yeah, that question. you you run with it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna run real fast because we're almost at the uh, the end of the show. Yeah. So get lucid with Lana. I love you, I love your name. Um, we together, will be doing visualizations, right? Kind of a meditation, a guided imagery meditation to get us into the place where we individually and collectively reach that quantum realm. Now, I love that you talked about tasks because when you're back and done and living your your regular life, you're going to be inspired to take action. But the difference is when you're connected to the quantum realm, you're going to take inspired action. It's not action out of, oh, God, I've got to do this, or action out of fear. It's that quiet inner voice that is connected to the intention that you launched that's going to lead you to the right people, places, and thing that's going to support the manifestation of what you asked for. So excellent question. What what an incredible, I love, 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 K-Core, love. (laughs) Yep. <laughs> <laughs> love it love 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 yeah. and, and i saw tina mentioned um staying away from negative people absolutely you know and by virtue of changing your energy in the mastermind group i have to do a disclaimer just because you're working on money or your health or whatever things are going to change when you raise your vibration, the vibration around you know, in and around you is going to raise. 
And the people, places, or things that don't equal that vibration, that don't raise to that vibration with you, they're going to fall out of your now. And sometimes that's going to look like relationships that break up or you lose a job because it's out of vibration with what you really desire. But the beautiful part is the thing that you really, really desire is on its way in. Yeah. So it's yep. important who you hang around with. It's important the words that you say. It's important the radio shows that you listen to. It's important the self-talk, right, that you say to yourself. And mm -hmm. we will be doing some other practices, like Augie said, that lead to empowering your skills in the mastermind. So if you learn meditation, you're going to be better at visualizing and going to that brainwave place. If you play with spoon bending, you're going to learn, you're going to increase your power of visualization and your power of surrendering, right? And belief. So more on this to come. Thank you yeah. so much. We've got two minutes tonight. Augie, Anything to say to these amazing people? Oh, oh maybe yeah. Come, maybe give them our email for the Mastermind Connection. Yes. Yeah, do go ahead and give them that email because okay. what we, we want to hear from you and uh, send us a uh, basically a request that you want to be part of the Mastermind Group and then we will send you some information back. And uh, December 1 is the uh, first Mastermind uh, meeting session or what, what we would call right. it. It's the kickoff. So the the uh, email address is the mastermind connection, all one word. I know it's so long. The mastermind connection at gmail.com. I'm so looking forward to to creating with everybody. Augie, yeah, this is going to be show? fun. We got about one minute. Yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate everybody out there listening and uh, join us because. First of all, you're going to be fun and you're going to like the results because there will be results. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for increasing the photon connection of our entanglement tonight. What the heck does that mean, Nori? I don't know. <laughs> much, love, much love to you all. We'll see you next week. Yeah, you channeled that word. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. You've been listening to Broadcast Team Alpha. Broadcast Team Alpha. Hosted by Nori Love and Augie Nost. Every Tuesday night at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, exclusively on the KCOR Digital Radio Network. The balance of power is shifting. Shifting to a new paradigm. Will you be ready? For more information on Broadcast Team Alpha as well as the hosts, Nori Love and Augie Nost, please visit their website at broadcastteamalpha.com. Until next week, remember to keep those minds open while always exploring the endless quantum possibilities. Broadcast Team Alpha, over and out. This is KCOR Las Vegas, home of the Digital Radio Network, broadcasting from a shack just south of Area 51. Wait, that doesn't exist.